in radar system. The next thing that you may uh, pay attention is that it's a transparent vertex lid. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll see that most of the parts of the radar system here are using uh, that same uh, mm, vertex lit mode in transparent system. Okay. <coughs> the next thing, as I mentioned, that was the camera. It has no textures at all, but uh, it's has a calling mask that's reading radar okay and the radar is a layer remember that and the radar point is that a graphical GUI uh, it's called radar point okay radar point it's here it's a PSD And uh, if you take a look, it's uh, the same principle here, but uh, if I just uh, okay, that's the point. Okay, if you take a look, we have a central point, and that's here. It's a central point here. Uh, we have a cone that I mentioned before and here is the cone and uh, we have some uh, glowing here but we don't see it here the nice thing about that glow is that uh, if you take a look at the channels where can I find that Channels, please. Okay, view those channels. Okay, I take from here, from here too. Okay, if we take a look at the channels, we have an alpha, and here is the magic. Okay, the alpha channel is the transparency channel. Everything that is completely white. Uh, it will be completely opaque and everything that it's uh, completely black it will be completely transparent so in other words uh, we won't see this uh, thickness that's happening here in our final effect because we don't have the white alpha here we have very uh, limited alpha here if we take a look and that's the reason that we may see this little uh, border and we have uh, some kind of white grayish uh, fade here that's caused this uh, glowing effect happening here in the thickness around the uh, radar. The next thing is this cone. It's a white cone. Okay. Of course, I'm painting in the apple layer in the, this uh, example. If I save it and uh, reload it in the Unity, we'll have a drastic change. But I won't do that. So this uh, gradient white here will cause this gradient effect here in the map and we have some kind of very little uh, transparent uh, effect here that's uh, this uh, dark green and uh, it will it really pay attention we will see a line here okay I hit control Z sometime uh, to make you pay attention 
so it's a horizontal line here it's very subtle but you may find it and that's because we have two different uh, colors and contrast in the horizon so all the nice things that happening inside the circle except the map is just a simple transparent texture that has nice alpha okay moving on you have rather occluder the rather occluder is a transparent alpha cancel and with the main color of white specular color of white but if you take a look uh, oh sorry if you take a look to the color the alpha is all the way down to zero and the emissive color is black shininess is um, high and the texture is this really nice texture and uh, what's it called map forest you find it yeah it's here okay and that's the last part of the textures you may need if you take a look it's all the map that you have uh, for uh, your other system okay it's all the map you have how can you make this map uh, is something simple really you just uh, have to let me move back all the way uh, move the rider map all the way on top of the train why don't I see it all the way hmm. okay and if I take a look at the top view I can see that uh, it's some sort of uh, top view of the oh my god what happened where am I okay I'm uh, here it is okay it's a top view of the exact um, play playable area of the game so the easiest way is that you can uh, create some room here if I can and zoom back now just deactivate it okay and I will uh, hide all the lights the sound effects GUIs etc and I'll just take a really uh, yeah, a simple screenshot it can do the job if I can just select something without putting it in the way hmm. yeah, please okay I will take a screen capture from this view okay and uh, create a new photoshop uh, file but if we take a look at uh, the where is it rather map it's a little bigger than the playable arrow so much bigger but the real map is happening in the center and you can say it in the Photoshop at all, okay? So the main thing is that I'll just uh, let's do it, right? Let's do it, okay? 
So I just create a uh, print a screen. Going in Photoshop, I'll create a new file. I'll paste it. Then I'll crop it to make my life easier. Then zoom it and uh, I just select this playable arrow, okay? Uh, maybe a little bigger because I saw that the uh, below building is somehow usable. And if I just uh, replace this, I think it's a little off. Use the opacity to make it transparent so that I know where I'm putting it. Okay, the main thing was something like this. Okay, now you can create another layer on top of the first one. Format group, sorry, sorry. Okay, a new layer, and for the first time, I will choose the screen with a brush. And I'll just make it maybe bigger, okay? And uh, a color, uh, for example, the red, okay? Now I'm starting to just doing my job. So this is the uh, bridge, okay? And I'll just using red. Okay, here I can see a river, I think. Yeah. So maybe I'll choose the green color, uh, sorry, blue color for it. Something like that. And make my brush bigger. And start painting blue here. Be careful about the bridge. Okay, and uh, I'll have road. For road, I'll have green. Uh, yeah, good enough. So for the road, I can say I can see this from here to here, and I have two roads from here. It's one of them. The next one is one of these, and I have some buildings. For the buildings, I'll choose maybe red, 